Good morning. You're watching Much Ado About Something, and I'm Donna. Well, it's a cold, snowy day here today. We had some weather this morning. There was snow. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of ice still falling. It's very cold. I think it's about 23 degrees today. But there's not much we can do. We're just inside messing around doing what we can do. Um, I thought I would just give you a tour of my tea cabinet and show you some of my teas that I've harvested from over the uh, fall and summer. Um, we're going to make some tea today. This is my uh, tea cabinet. This was Donald's uh, grandma's cabinet. And... Uh, I took it over as the tea cabinet. So, this is where I store all my teas. Um, the ones that I harvest and the ones that I buy. And I've showed you this tea cabinet before. And this is um, a little caddy that holds like the diffusers and some of the things that we rest the tea on. The teapot's in here. And uh, some of my pots and some of my favorite uh, teacups and things are in here. I keep the um, sunscreen and the bug spray in here because the back door is just right here. And so when we run outside, um, the kids and all, we run outside, we can just run in the back door and get the bug spray and the sunscreen. Or put it on right before we go out. So that's why I keep that in the tea cabinet. But most of it is uh, just delicious teas. And a lot of it, this I got from the Amish store. This is sassafras root. I have sassafras leaves that I harvested. But this is sassafras root. I have uh, hibiscus flower. That's a good tea. Dandelion root and um, chicory, chicory root. So that's the teas that are in here um, that I have left. I have some uh, Autumn's Child tea. That's really good. My sister gave me this. This is delicious. She ordered this from Grove. And it's passion fruit. So it's really good. But most of my store-bought teas I, I have over here oh, are our, our water's boiling. Oh, this is the biscuits that we had earlier today. Let me cover those up. Donald's still been snacking on them, so I didn't have them covered up quite yet. But this is all the teas that I have grown from the um, and harvested from the the side of the road, friends' property, and. And I've grown in some of my own property. We have echinacea. Sassafras. Dandelion. I got this off of my brother-in-law's sassafras trees. The sassafras uh, leaves. We have mullion. And then the mullion that I harvested. Uh, from the one coming from my sister's house and from... Uh, my own yard. Me and Donald harvested off of uh, the highway. Passion flower vine, lemon balm, goldenrod leaves and goldenrod flowers, more passion flower, dandelion, mullion flowers, echinacea, plantain, white clover, comfrey, nettle. Nettle is really high in vitamin C, so I think I'll put some of the nettle in the tea today. 
Mullion definitely because mullion is so good for the lungs. So let's see. And echinacea. We'll put some of that in. I'm going to make this uh, tea uh, infuser that I got here. And it'll make enough that will not only be for just uh, today, but I'll probably have enough to drink it iced tomorrow. So I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to make this. I'm going to put a few black leaves in here, black tea leaves. Green tea is better for you in a lot of ways, but I just I just love the taste of the black tea. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that in my, my infusion. I'm going to put nettle tea in here because... Metal is so high in vitamin C. So I'll put two tablespoons of nettle tea in here. I'm going to put two teaspoons of uh, mullion. Mullion tea is really good for your lungs. For any kind of cold or any kind of virus, any kind of issue that you've had. And then I'm going to put some of the echinacea that I grew. And I thought, it's like I say, I have some of the uh, flowers in here and some of the leaves. All of that is good for tea. And I, of course, echinacea is a really good immune booster. It has immune boosting properties. So we can certainly use that today. And our water is coming to a boil, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill up this infusion. Now that'll make enough tea for me to have. For the rest of the evening and for tomorrow and I'll just let it sit here and infuse it infuse for a while and uh, then whenever I go to drink it I'll pour it in a cup and add some uh, wildflower honey to it and so that'll be a good tea for uh, immune and healing So it'll it'll just infuse there and uh, I'll put some of this stuff back in the cabinet. But you saw all of my my teas here that I that I use a lot. These are all things that uh, teas that I really, really use and on a regular basis. This year, I think I'm going to start a little tea journal. Uh, Donald and I were making uh, homemade tomato soup, and I grew so much basil. I had so much basil. I had it in four different places, and then I had a whole pot full, but I didn't uh, harvest it and dry it. So all the basil that I had, I I didn't I didn't put it up for use. So I didn't have any when it came time to make our homemade soup. We had to buy basil, 
and I had raised so much over the summer. And I thought, well, I'm going to have to start an herb journal <laughs> to check off when I've harvested. Because, you know, there's a lot going on and try to keep it up with it all. And I thought I'd harvest the, harvested the basil, but I didn't. I didn't harvest it and dry it. So uh, this year I want to be a better steward of that and make sure that I have it. And uh, I have plenty of tea for the rest of the winter and for the spring. And uh, I'll make a list of, of the teas that I'd like to add to this and uh, things uh, that I'd like to try and to have on hand next year. Um, but I drink these teas on a regular basis. I mean, you know, I drink tea almost every day, if not more than once a day. So um, I don't think I can have too much of it. And I, I fix it for friend, family and friends, too, sometimes. Uh, and then uh, these herbs here, too, we can also use for infusions and, and things like that. But that's what I'm doing today. I'm going through the tea cabinet, seeing what I have and what I can make tea from and enjoy today. I hope you're having a good day for wherever you're at. And I think it's going to continue to snow here. I see the little birds on the bird feeder. I think we're just going to have a snowy, uh, wintry storm. I don't think it was as bad as they thought it was going to be. Uh, they were calling for it to be one of the worst storms we've had in ages. I don't think it turned out to be as bad as they thought it was going to be. But we're still staying in. We're going to stay in uh, and not get out on the roads because... The thing about the south, when it snows like this, and then there was some ice falling too, is it just ices. The ice is so heavy, it sits on the power lines, and it causes them to break down. And then it sits on the trees and causes the trees to break down. And uh, it, it thaws a little and gets warm in the day, and then it'll refreeze at night and make travel really hazardous. So it's not that we can't... Um, navigate is just the way that this this does down in the south makes it really hard for us to get around so their uh, police department and uh, the uh, city are just advising you to stay in and a lot of things are closed so there wouldn't be too many places to go anyway with everything being closed down so but while I'm in here I'm gonna go through my teas and enjoy my tea and go through the tea cabinet because it's one of the things that I can't organize right now and um, en and enjoy my hot cup of tea in this uh, cold weather. I thank you for joining me today and like always, until next time.